We begin with a two-day summit between U.S. President Donald Trump and, his Chinese, and Chinese President Xi Jinping. The meeting between the leaders of the world's two superpowers will spotlight major issues such as trade and North Korea. It's being closely watched around the world. For the latest, we connect to Connie Kim at Seoul's Foreign Affairs Ministry. Connie, what can you tell us about the summit so far? Well, Devin, U.S. President Donald Trump in a signature red tie and First Lady Melanie Trump greeted Chinese President Xi Jinping and First Lady Peng Liwian at a little past 5 p.m. as they arrived at Trump's private Mar-a-Lago resort in the Black Limousine. We don't know how uh, much so far, but we do know Trump said he had a long discussion with Xi and developed a friendship, which he said will turn out to be a very great relationship in the long term. Trump also said the two leaders had not reached an agreement on anything yet, and if any deals do come out of the summit, it's not expected to happen until Friday. Although we don't have anything official on what China has up its sleeve, AFP, citing a source that was briefed on Xi's plans, says the Chinese leader plans to offer a package of Chinese investments that would create more than 700,000 American jobs. Now, this is the same number Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe pledged during his February Mar-a-Lago meeting with Trump. She could also offer to further open up China's auto and agricultural markets and possibly even some concessions on Chinese banks' transactions with North Korea. Now, Trump has been pressuring China to use its influence with Pyongyang in the days leading up to this meeting. In return, she hopes to get assurances from Trump on punitive tariffs the delay of an American arms sale to Taiwan, at least until a Communist Party meeting set for later this year. Okay, well, they've certainly got a lot to talk about. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the background and the lead up to the summit? Exactly. Well, this summit is expected to set the tone for U.S. China relations at least for the next four years while the Trump administration is in office. Uh, Trump has been very blunt about the North Korea issue lately, saying America will solve the problem if Beijing doesn't and that it's his responsibility as president to respond to North Korea's nuclear ambitions in the Asia-Pacific region. Trump had specifically mentioned the trade deficit with China, indicating that he's going to pressure Xi to solve, resolve the issue as well. And South Korea for sure is going to be watching, and it's expected the summit will give a clearer picture of how Washington and Beijing are going to deal with the unpredictable regime, regime going forward. Devin?